Hi there, let's talk about Microsoft Lists in Teams. This application is part of Microsoft 365 and it is amazing to use with your team so you can share information, keep up to date, and have a dynamic list that everyone can utilize. So I'm gonna show you some lists, we're gonna talk about why you'd wanna use them, and then we're going to create one from scratch as well. So starting with showing you the lists. So right now I'm in the instructors team, training channel and one of the tabs at the top is list events so this list is showing the name of the training sessions a session code a type so quite a few different details and if i scroll over you'll see it kind of looks like a spreadsheet doesn't it but maybe a little bit fancier some color coding going on here as well so we're going to create this together so don't worry we'll get a chance to do it so let's just let's just see what's possible first so i can have a list of just hey what training do we have coming up so let's move on to a different list example I'm going to go into my resources channel this time. So you might have different lists in different channels or different lists in different teams, depending on the nature of that team. So I'm going to go into my resources channel and we're going to look at the tech inventory we have. So this is just a list of all the technology we currently have so that we can have that inventory list easily available to ourselves. Okay, two more example lists for you, and then a few special things about these lists. So let's go on to a different team. I'm gonna to go to the employee onboarding team and going into employee chat channel. And from there, we have a vacation list. That's so important to know. When does everybody want their vacation? And you can have approvals on here and all kinds of stuff. So the cool thing I haven't shown you yet is that a list that you create can also be tied to a view um, that shows that information in a certain way. So any list with dates in it can have a view that's a calendar. So you actually can make a calendar out of a list. So let's just show you what that looks like in the form of this vacation list. So I've got the vacation list date so it looks like it's June and July or August dates here. So if I go to vacation calendar here, have that ready. So it's a tab that's just available to me. And I'm going to go to June and there should be yep, Connie's vacation and Ashley's vacation and so on. So you're seeing the details of the list show up in the calendar. Let me just show you that one other way. I actually had that in the other list we were looking at earlier. So if I go back to training you had a training events, I believe, list. And so there is a list calendar that I made as well. So all those events that were coming up, I also have them viewable in calendar form. So here is the different training, Excel Advance on the 22nd, SharePoint on the 19th. If I go back to the list here, you'll see SharePoint's on the 19th, Excel advances on the 22nd. So you see these dates translated into a calendar view for us. Now, one other type of list and a special thing about it is that you can view a list based on pictures. So if you have a gallery of some kind, a number of pictures that you want to document a bit more, uh, I'm gonna go into, it's actually in the tab here, I've got some teaching pictures and click on that. So that's a list, but it's actually pictures that are part of this list. So right now it has a few columns in it with the pictures showing. I can change the view of this list though. So right at the top here where it says all items, I'm gonna just change it to a gallery view and then I'm seeing it more like a picture gallery instead of just a list form. So there you have it, three different kinds of lists, pictures, a calendar, and then a basic list. So pretty cool looking stuff here. So let's see how we create this and let's see a few more of the advantages of creating something like this within your team's environment. Let's create a list from scratch. And the list that I'm gonna start with is just a contact list. Most offices seem to have that list of contacts and names of people and their phone numbers or extensions, and it's tacked to their wall somewhere. Or rather than do that, why not have it right in the team that it belongs in? So I'm just gonna put it in the general channel of my instructor's team. Okay, so I'm on the, in the general channel. I'm gonna to go to the plus sign at the top here. And then the app I'm gonna pick is simply lists. Now I want to create a list from scratch as opposed to adding an existing list. So if you already had a list created somewhere in SharePoint, you could pull it in here now. Um, we're going to create one though so you can see how that happens. 
Once I go to create a list, this big screen shows me a few more options. I can start from a blank list, which is what we're going to do together. I can pick an existing list. So again, I already have one created somewhere. Perhaps I can bring it in or maybe I have something done in Excel that really should be a list within my team's environment. If it's coming from Excel, though, you have to make sure the layout of it exactly matches how a list wants you to lay stuff out, as in you just have rows and columns, no blank rows, no blank columns, and you're just importing that information. OK. And then there's a number of templates that Microsoft gives you. You can play with these as well and check out what they do. For example, I just want to start from scratch. So blank list. Let's hit the plus sign there. Give your list a name. Ours is a contact list. Pick an icon if there's one that's appropriate. And your list always starts with a title column, which is just a plain text column. We're going to use that just for the name of the person. So I'm just going to edit, rename that to say name. I'm going to add a column that is just a single line of text for their extension number. Add another column that is their department. Now, if there's only a few departments or we know the exact names of the departments that we have um, within our organization, we can use a choice column so that we don't have to type in the name of the department over and over again. And then you choose what the choices should be. So let's just say it's HR, accounting, and instructing. Okay, and then we can do a few other things. Um, so this is the contact list. So we can have their, we can put in their address. Now there is a location option, which would actually give you a mapped address if you want. We could put the date they started with us. Maybe we'll do that, date and time. All right, so that gets us started. There's a lot of other options there that you saw when you're adding to a column. You could add a different column of information if you wish. Um, but let's just give this a try and see how it works. So I'm just going to add in some fake contacts here. Susie Smith. And she'll be HR. And she started with us, we'll say December 1st. So the new button is letting me add in a person. That's what I just used type somebody in there. I'm going to just cancel that. So there was a save at the bottom, a save at the top here. There also is edit and grid view. So I can go and change this list to kind of look like a spreadsheet or a little grid for myself. Um, let me just show you the advantage of that in a second here. So let's say we have Mary Jones, one, two, four, four. She's also HR. So if I want to copy HR, I can actually grab the corner of that and drag it down. So it copies it and we'll say they both started the same day. So copy it along. Now, once I'm done editing or adding stuff into my list, I can exit that grid view and then I see the people's names there. So there's a, a number of things I can do with this list. I can also integrate it so it has certain rules attached to it. I can have some conditional formatting on it. I can create a view like a calendar or like a gallery like you saw as my example before. I can filter the list. Uh, I can also group my list in certain ways. So there's lots of potential with lists. The big thing to keep in mind when you're trying to decide, do I want to put a list into my team or not? Is that what is the information you're sharing? Could it be useful for that team of people to see that information and see it up to date? And rather than email somebody and ask them, Hey, what's the status of that? Um, if it's something that's always ongoing, you're always checking on the status of something, or maybe it's a shipping list or things are uh, being loaded uh, for the warehouse or what have you, um, have it as a, a live list that's being updated and people can just go and check the list to see what's happening. So although I'm showing you lists in Teams, just be aware that List is a Microsoft 365 application. You can use it by itself on the web um, through your Microsoft login. You can use it within SharePoint. You can even use it on your phone or on your tablet. So how you use it's up to you. The reason I show it to you in Teams is because this instantly means you are sharing it with other people and they have access to the information as well. So give that a try. See what you can do. Have some fun with it. Be creative. Bye-bye.